Hi, Coach Burt, Ultimate Soccer Coaching. Uh, before I dive into today's uh, activity, today's topic, I want to uh, recommend really quickly that you hit the subscribe button on our YouTube page. So if you're viewing this on our YouTube channel, hit the subscribe button. Uh, you're going to join our YouTube channel. You're going to get notifications whenever we put out new uh, activities and drills. Uh, if you're viewing this on our blog, you're going to see a link below for our YouTube channel. Make sure you go there and subscribe. All right, well, let me go ahead and dive into our topic. And today I'm going to talk about increasing speed of play. Speed of play. Now what we do to increase speed of play, a couple of different things we look at. Uh, one is we limit touches. Uh, as long as the game is on open touches, players are going to play slower. They're going to have more time on the ball. They're going to take a bad touch. They're going to kind of meander around a little bit before they make passes. So if you want them to play uh, quickly, you need, to, you need to limit touches. So go with a two-touch limit uh, and even some cases a one-touch, and we'll talk about that in a minute. So that, that's one thing you want to do. Um, the other thing you want to do is constrain space. So if you want to increase speed of play, eliminate space. Uh, make the field a little bit smaller, add additional players, whatever you need to do to decrease players' time on the ball. And in a perfect world, our players are going to work hard, they're going to defend, they're going to press, um, and they're going to give maximum effort all the time in practice. That's a perfect world. Uh, we don't live in that perfect world in case you haven't noticed. So you're not always going to get players closing out with the intensity that they do in a game-like situation. So by making the field smaller, compressing the space, they don't have to work quite as hard, and you're naturally going to see a little bit more uh, pressure, a little bit quicker closing out, therefore a little faster speed of play. I'm going to show you an activity that I like to use um, to, to work on speed of play uh, and things like that. So real simple activity. Just going to have a grid, rectangular grid, um, and you'll just have players in the grid. So let's say we're doing a, we'll go six, six v six. One, two, three, four, five, one more six. And then we can put two neutral players on. And I play this uh, particular game with uh, two neutral players, 6v6. Um, works great with 10v10 with two neutral players, but you know, any kind of number over five or six is going to work. And what I do is I put all the, all the players that are not neutral players on one touch. They're on a single touch. Neutral players are on two touch. And what this allows them to do is it allows the players to find the neutral player, to slow down the game, and get control of the game. So it's one, two, pop, 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 quick passes, find the neutral player, he takes two touches, slows things down a bit, and then we're off and running again. A couple of coaching points you want to talk to your players about. Um, when they're switching the ball, so if they, if they do a big switch over the top and the ball's in the air, because we're on one touch, we immediately need to have a player dropping in for support. And what, what's going to happen is the ball's going to be switched over the top, and it can be just a very uh, simple knockdown right to that new player, like hitting a target player. So over the top, boom, he knocks it down, one touch, and we're off and running again. Now, sometimes players are resistant uh, to two-touch, and I've, I've coached a particular player, very skilled player, very talented player, um, but he hates, he hates two-touch. He complains every time we do two-touch. Um, so I've had to explain to them the importance of why we do two-touch, what we're trying to accomplish. A um, couple of things that are going to happen when you go into a two-touch environment. Obviously, we've talked about speed of play. Um, the other thing that's going to happen is, um, is the player's touch is going to get cleaned up. When you don't have a couple of extra touches to get control of the ball, you've got to be concentrating on your first touch. So the first touch is going to get better. Uh, also, their ability to move the ball off the spot is going to get better. So as the ball is coming in, they're going to start taking a first touch that has uh, more intention to it. So if just knocking the ball down, they're going to want to move that into space, get themselves out of pressure. The ball is coming in, they're going to take a touch, boom, off to an angle, and then find the and then find the pass. So. Again, moving off the spot, very important skill. And then the other thing it's going to do is it's going to cause the players to have better off the ball movement. And when you're in a two touch environment, when you don't have the ball, you've got to move quickly to get open. You've got to quickly open up support angles, provide opportunities for your teammates to make passes. So, increasing the speed of play, two touch, one touch, try this activity out. I uh, hope you enjoy it. Got some more activities and some more drills for you. Um, what I'd like you to do is go to ultimatesoccercoaching.com forward slash drills. And uh, on this page, you're going to find a place you can put in your name and your email address. You're going to sign up for our, our weekly uh, news uh, newsletter. We send out new drills, new activities each and every week. So check that out, ultimatesoccercoaching.com slash drills. Thanks. Have a great day.